Gene expression is the process by which the information stored in our DNA is used as instructions for the synthesis of proteins or other molecules. When studying gene expression with real-time PCR, changes in the expression of a particular gene or set of genes are measured through investigating the abundance of the gene-specific transcript. The workflow of gene expression analysis in the laboratory starts with the extraction of RNA from the samples. RNA is then reverse transcribed into complementary DNA or cDNA. The cDNA produced becomes the template in qPCR reactions to detect and quantitate gene expression products. RNA extraction can be done using traditional phenol chloroform method or spin column based methods. The extraction process can be divided into several parts. Lysis, phase separation, precipitation, washing, and dilution. For this gene expression analysis study, samples will be taken from the hepatopancreas, white leg shrimp, Pineus vaname. Prior to extraction, all materials and surfaces are disinfected to remove RNases that are present in the environment. of tissue will be dissected out and placed in a stabilization solution which can be stored at 4 degrees Celsius for up to three days. The dissected tissue is retrieved from storage and excess stabilization solution is blotted out. The tissue is then homogenized in trisal reagent. This is incubated for five minutes at room temperature. Chloroform is added, followed by vigorous shaking and incubation for three minutes at room temperature to separate the RNA away from DNA and protein into different layers. After centrifugation, three visible layers can be seen. The upper phase containing the RNA is removed and transferred to a new tube. Precipitation is done by adding an equal amount of isopropanol, followed by incubation and centrifugation to concentrate the RNA into a pellet. The resulting RNA pellet is washed several times with ethanol to remove the remaining alcohol soluble contaminants and air dried to remove excess alcohol in the tube. Finally, the pellet is suspended in RNA's free water and can be stored at negative 80 degrees Celsius until cDNA synthesis. The extracted RNA is run on a 1% agarose gel in trees acetate to buffer with added nucleic acid stain for 40 minutes at 100 volts and visualized in a gel documentation system. Extracted RNA is measured at 230, 260, and 280 nanometer to determine its purity. The extracted RNA should have an 8 260, 280 ratio of at least 2.0 and an A260-230 ratio of more than 1.7. The quantity of the extracted RNA is checked via fluorometry. An intercalating dye is added to the extracted RNA and read in a fluorometer.
based on a set of standards. The concentration of RNA is then determined. Once the purified RNA has passed the quality, purity, and quantity check, it can then be reverse transcribed into complementary DNA. The reverse transcription reactions involve three steps, primer annealing, DNA polymerization, and enzyme deactivation. The RT experiment is also called first strand cDNA synthesis and requires the following. RNA, which serves as the template for the reaction, a reverse transcriptase enzyme, primers, and DNTPs. RNA is first mixed with primers and DNTPs and incubated at 65 degrees Celsius to denature RNA's secondary structure. This is chilled quickly on ice to let the primers anneal to the RNA. Then the RT buffer is added to the mixture and incubated at 42 degrees Celsius. After incubation, the reverse transcriptase enzyme is added to the reaction. This mix is extended at 42 degrees Celsius for less than an hour, allowing reverse transcription to occur. Finally, the reaction is terminated by heating at 70 degrees Celsius, inactivating the enzyme. RNase H is added to the tube to destroy the RNA template making sure that only the cDNA remains in the tube. After successfully generating the cDNA, the qPCR reaction can now be carried out. As in traditional PCR, DNA is amplified by repeating three steps, denaturation, annealing, and elongation or extension. However, in qPCR, the reaction progression can be monitored by an increase in fluorescence signal and the amplification data is collected as the PCR progresses. In this gene expression analysis, the fluorescence detection is through the use of CyberGreen. A ready-made commercial master mix is added to the primers and nuclease-free water and loaded onto the reaction plate. The template is then added and the plate is sealed. After sealing the plate, it is loaded onto the real-time PCR system and undergoes several cycles of PCR, following a melt curve step. For this experiment, the gene expression of prophenol oxidase will be investigated between treated and untreated samples. Once the cycling and melt curve analysis is completed, the instrument software automatically provides amplification curves, showing the fluorescence in the y-axis against the cycle number in the x-axis. This data is now ready for further calculation and analysis.